guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a book haul. This book haul is going to be a mixture of books that I bought for myself, books I received for Christmas, um, what else? books from friends, things like that. So it's a big conglomeration of books and they're not all from one place. So without further ado, I'm just going to jump right into it. There's a mixture of genres, all kinds of things. So first I'm going to start with the books that I got for Christmas. I got two books from my sister and the first one I got is A Game of Hearts by Joanna Baker. Barker, I apologize. <laughs> Joanna Barker. Uh, this book is absolutely stunning. I remember it was a huge hit on Instagram, I think, last year, 2022, 2023. Everyone loved it, and I was so excited to open my gift on Christmas and find this one there. I have had quite a few friends message me, and they're like, you need to make sure you read that book. So it is top in my 2024 uh, TBR at some point this year. And then... <laughs> She got me Radical Love by Zachary Levi, Learning to, Esca Learning to Accept Yourself and Others. Um, fun fact about me, I love Zachary Levi. I have since Tangled. Um, and I was so excited to have his nonfiction book that is published with Harper Horizon. I don't know about the uh, content of it since I haven't read it yet. But I do know that he narrates his, the audiobook to it, and I absolutely love his voice. So I think I might splurge and buy the audiobook to listen to while um, also reading it at the same time. So if there's anything that stands out, I can highlight or anything like that. So those are from my beautiful sister. And then from my parents, I got a couple books. My dad is so cute. He loves picking out uh, the books that they get me for my birthday or Christmas or anything like that and he's always trying to look for completed series um, so I did get two series from them I just have my Amazon wish list and he goes through I send that out to my family and he does his thing um so the first are the schooled in love books by Casey Lane I do have book two called side hustle so I got book one which is taco truck takedown super cute Book three, which is Buggy List, and book four, which is Off Season, and these are all super, super short novellas. I think that's something that Casey Lane is known for. Um, she does like short and sweet kind of stuff, so I'm very excited to try out her books. I've heard amazing things about her, and I was excited um, to find them all wrapped up for me. And then they got me this series by Lindsay Jasnowski. I, I apologize, I think I butchered that. First is Alone Together. This does have a new updated cover, um, but this is the book that Amazon sent. I'm not upset about it, um, but that is not the cover that is out now. And then Mishaps and Mistletoe, and Shut Up and Dance. So. Super excited about this series. So that is what I got for for Christmas in the book world, in the book realm. Um, oh yeah, yeah, book related. <laughs> Next, I am going to share some books that some beautiful friends sent me. Um, it was so sweet. I am blessed anytime I receive anything, whether it's a card, regardless. I love it. It's very, very sweet. So thank you to my sweet friends. I love you all. Uh, first, I have Falling for Your Brother's Best Friend by Emma St. Clair. This is book four and a half in the Love Cliché series. She just re-released it um, this past holiday season. My beautiful friend Amanda sent it to me, so thank you so much, Amanda. I love you, friend. Next is But He's My One Regret by Anna Conwell. This is book two in the Carter Brother, but he's a Carter Brother series. I am obsessed with Anna Conwell, um, but this is for my beautiful friend Catherine. She is so, so sweet. And then next is Haley and the Yeti by Laura Linga, and this is for my beautiful friend Hannah. She's so sweet. Um, I saw the cover for this, 
and instantly put it on my TBR because it's so cute. There's a little iguana. <laughs> the author has since released another book or two books in the series and her covers are just so cute. So I'm really excited about that. So thank you so much to my beautiful friends. I appreciate it. You guys are the best. Next, I'm going to share some books that I got from Amazon. I am kicking myself because there were two series that were on, like, mega sale. Like, I'm talking 2 to $4 a book. Crazy, right? And I was like, oh, it, I saw it late at night. And I was like, I, I'm just going to wait till tomorrow. Well, I waited too long my fault and one of the series went right back up to full price which isn't terrible they're only 12 bucks a book um but i've been one of my goals this year is to just be careful about buying books with the intent of reading them um and i do want to get through my shelves personally so i've been trying to be better about the books that i'm buying maybe one day i'll have them i'll be stocking them like a hawk um to hopefully one day get them <laughs> either on sale or when I have extra money just buy them but I purchased my Patty H. Scott backlist uh, Patty H. Scott is also Savannah Scott and y'all know how much I absolutely adore those books so when I found her paperbacks on mega sale I just went ahead and purchased them because I do love her writing style so much so first is someone to kiss and I should know which series these are a part of but I don't I think this is like the Callaway Inn or something like that not a clue so anywho that's one book from one series this is a series that I missed and they went back up to full price so at some point I will get the other books in the series then I got this whole series this is I don't know which order they're in I'll figure that out when I find a spot for them on my shelves, but right now I'm not really worried about it. First is Not Falling For My Boss. Next is Romancing the Rancher. The Fireman's Perfect Match. Winning the Single Mom's Heart. And Love's Second Chance. So... I got these again they were on super sale and I absolutely love Patty's writing style so I'm excited to see because I know that they're different I think she went when she wrote and went Savannah Scott they're more rom-com and her Patty H Scott I think has more faith elements and it's a little more just like clean wholesome romance not so much comedy mixed in there but I'm sure she's just a funny person so I'm sure it's kind of sprinkled into the book so I'm very excited to read some of her Patty H. Scott backlist. Then I got an email I have a couple um, suspense authors that I love and I have their email list and they put together a novella collection a couple years ago and they announced in their email that they are no longer going to be selling it in the paperback cut well I mean now it's done you can't buy it anymore so when I saw that I was like well I need to get it so I got Heroes of the Crossfire and this is four romantic suspense novellas by Lynn H. Blackburn love her Lynette Eason love her Elizabeth Goddard and Lisa Harris so I'm really excited to try some more books by Elizabeth and Lisa um because I don't have many of their books under my belt so it was only a couple bucks and I knew I had to get it before it was gone so I'm happy I did that and the last stack of books that we're going to talk about, Second and Charles is the only bookstore that is within a relatively close distance to me. And I got a message from them saying that they were doing a buy five, get five free sale, like all their used stuff. Um, so I boogied my little body down there and I got some books. So I got some other stuff too, but I'm just going to show the books that I got for me. And it's, again, this is a mixed bag of, of books. I've got a ton of middle grade. I've got a couple Christian fiction or a couple clean books, things like that. Um, so we're just going to jump right into it. First is The Promise of Jesse Woods by Chris Fabry. I have never read a Chris Fabry book, but he is on my list of 
authors to try and I couldn't pass it up and this one sounded super super interesting next I got the work of art by Mimi Matthews I am very excited about this I've only read one Mimi Matthews book but I know that she is like super well known in the clean world um the one book I did read by her did have some language uh but that was that was it so stop it sorry I just saw marriage of convenience so I'm not sure if that's a main trope in the book but it's on the back so I I know nothing about this book I just saw it it was like three dollars and I picked it up so the cover and back are a little oh, a little bent up but that's okay and the spine's a little broken but it was cheap so it's okay next I got this book I'm very intrigued by um, I think that it is technically kids, like young adult. It gives very much like middle grade young adult, which is fine. Um, but it is a choose your own ever after book. And this story is how to get to Rio. So what happens is you pick your path. So you'll be reading the book and then all of a sudden these little things will come up. And it will say, if you think she should do this, go to this page. If you think she should do this, go to this page. And you continue the story that way. Um, so I thought that that was a super fun idea. And I'm really intrigued to see how that goes. Next, I got The Nutcracker Mice by Kristen Cladstrup. And this is a middle grade, I'm assuming. It's about little mice who are at the Russian ballet house that like it produces uh, a version of the Nutcracker and the little mice also do the Nutcracker and then one of them finds out that they are going to exterminate the theater and that the mice are gonna die so it's a, it's told from the mice's perspective um, and like saving their lives and saving their little version of the Russian ballet so I am very excited yeah it's the Russian mouse ballet company <laughs> so I'm, I love, I, first of all, I love the Nutcracker. Um, second of all, I loved Angelina Ballerina when I was younger, and this just seems like the best of both worlds. So, very, very excited. Then I got Nowhere to Turn by Lynette Easton. This is book two in the Hidden Identity series. I have No One to Trust, and one of my goals is to one day own all of Lynette Easton's books, so when I find them cheap, I do try to pick them up. Next, man, a couple of these are so sticky. The adhesive didn't come off as well as it normally does. Next, I got The Magic Misfits and The Magic Mis Misfits, The Minor Third. These are by Neil Patrick Harris. I don't know much about them. I just absolutely love these covers. They are so much fun. There is a movie that Disney Plus did a couple years ago, I think during covid um about a magic I think it's called magic camp it's about a magic camp and just the stories it was a super cute movie and this kind of gives me that vibe I think there's more magic in these books um like I think there's actual magic so we'll see I don't know how much there is I'm gonna give them a shot and if they're too much I will just go ahead and donate them somewhere or sell them on pango or something um but yes, it's book one and three because that is all they had. They're so beautiful though. And then the last book is actually, a, the last books is actually a series. And it's this cute little series. Half Upon a Time. Twice Upon a Time. And Once Upon the End. And this is a young, like middle grade fairy tale retelling-esque through the generations. The main boy, his dad is Jack and the Beanstalk. He's Jack from Jack and the Beanstalk. And the main girl is potentially a descendant, like the granddaughter of Snow White. And then there's of course the Evil Queen and things like that. So I thought that they looked super cute. They are a little chunky, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but I think it might just be the Oh my goodness. Oh, never mind. Okay. 
<laughs> so I got like this far into the book and I just saw chapter 3. I kept flipping, but it's chapter 35, so all's well. But it should be, I'm sure it's going to be a quick little read. So Couldn't miss Passing, I couldn't miss those, so yeah. Those are all the books that I've gotten recently. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you to my family, to my friends, to myself uh, for all of all of the gifts, all of the books, and for never leaving me without books to read. So I'm very, very excited. Let me know in the comments below if you've gotten any new books recently, if you got any for Christmas, if you had any good sales. I would love to know. Don't forget, you can check out my blog at fortheloveofchristianfiction.blogspot.com. You can also check out my Instagram at For the Love of Christian Fiction, and all my other links are in the description box below. I think that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!